Gay News on Channel 5. Tonight's headlines, Truth finally jailed after killing Wayne, Qantas industrial action, and WT's Christmas segment. But firstly, we cross to a news story where the Empanada Fiesta pastry company is going into financial disarray. It has been reported that the empanada, uh, the empanada Pastry Company, after several attacks from the trolls, is going into financial lockdown, and that it will need several million dollars to get out of its crisis. We now cross to this story where Wayne Trude has been on the scene. Here we are once again at the Empanada Fiesta Pastry Company. As you are well aware, the Empanada Fiesta Pastry Company was attacked by trolls in AGN Season 1. Like and in AGN Season 2, the truck was hijacked. Well, he, he pushed me off the road and um, he, he got out of his truck and said, well, look, you know. Here we have once again the general manager, Pauline, who tells us in a very confidential matter, in a very confidential letter, that her company is going into financial disarray due to all of the attacks from the trolls. Pauline, can you tell us if this is true? That's true. Yeah. Yes. I mean, I mean, I've had to sack people, which is a bad thing. Of course, yes. Yeah, and and I'm, eventually I'm nearly down to my last dollar. Mm. So how can you run a company on a dollar? Exactly right, Pauline. Yeah, yeah. And you put this down to the trolls attacking yeah, your company? Yes, yeah, so I do. Yeah. yeah yes. And in a bad way, yeah. I wish I knew how to get rid of them. Well, Jocelyn Wayne Productions has got hold of um, some of the documents from the Empanada Fiesta Pastry Company. And... <laughs> right! Jocelyn Wayne Productions has got hold of some of the documentation from the Empanada Fiesta Pastry Company. After very official analysis of these documentation of this documentation, Jocelyn Wayne Productions can clearly see that the Empanada Fiesta Pastry Company is in very deep financial troubles. Pauline, what do you plan on doing about this financial issue that you're in at well, the moment? Well, I'm in such a bad way that I can't do anything. Mm. You know. So I'm just asking for people's help and hopefully to save jobs and all that sort of thing. That's right, and the Empanada Fiesta Pastry Company has been in the hole for, well, the hole of Signet for yeah. a very long time now and it has supported the community for yeah. several decades now. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Thank you very much, Pauline, for your time. That's, that's all right. Thank you, Wayne Trude, for that story coming there live from the Empanada Fiesta Pastry Company. Over the past several months, travellers have been stranded across the world where planes have already stopped due to the Qantas industrial action. Many staff members from HN have been stuck overseas on assignments due to the planes being grounded. Wayne Trude has been out at Signet Airport seeing what is going on with the Qantas industrial action. In recent weeks, travellers in Australia and overseas have had turmoil trying to get from A to B due to the Qantas industrial action. But what is really behind the Qantas industrial action? Here we are on the set of Truth's Kitchen Nightmares, which is soon to be released in early 2012. The chefs here are preparing their dishes to be judged by the head judge, Miss Cess Chutney. I mean, Cathy. Does that one of the contestants here, Mocha? Um, Mocha, what are we we're cooking here today? Fruitcake. Fruitcake and uh, fruitcake. Would you, would you like to try some? It's very nice, I must say. So what we're going to do is here today as, as introduction to Trude's Kitchen Nightmares, myself, Wayne Trude, is going to go around all the contestants and just have a sample of their... Um, and judge them. 
uh, judge their fruit cakes and say who's going to be the winner of the uh, samples. Hi, how are you going? I'm Wayne True. Can I try fruit cake, please? <laughs> Mm. That one's the best one I've tried so far. I'm just going to try leaves now. Oh, no, it's so good. Come on. You've already tried mine, you love it. Oh, two oranges. <laughs> What's wrong with your fruit cake? <laughs> oh, that's only your eight. Hang on. <laughs> Two orange. Two fruity. Um, what's wrong with yours? It hasn't got anything in it. It's going to be really flowery, just saying. A bit flowery. <laughs> Too bland. The runner up of the sample cake contest is Mota, and the winner is Liv. So ladies, how do you feel? Great. And you, you realise that you have fun at day trip to France? With the one and only WT? Congratulations. Yes, with me. Now time for the weather. Wine. Wine. Oh. <laughs> oh. Welcome back to Anger News on Channel 5. A very strange phenomenon has been happening over the past few weeks down here in the hole of the Huon Valley in Tasmania. This strange white fur has been drifting through towns all throughout the hole and everyone has been at arms to answer the questions. We have just been speaking to the head scientist here at this institute in Signet. Steve said that the, uh, the white fur that we are seeing, well we can't really see it right, right now, just depends on the light of the day, but um, when you can see it, that it is troll fur and that it is currently the troll mating season in Tasmania. That's why at night, when it's a full moon like last night, we can hear the roars of the trolls. <gasps> just like that one there. We will be back shortly. Earlier this year, Wayne was killed by True. And it is only just now that True has been jailed for the crime that she committed. Wayne True has been at the Supreme Court in Hobart watching the proceedings of True's prosecution. We are today at the St James Catholic College Sports Carnival. Oh, wait, they don't have one. Welcome to Hammy's weather. Today's weather was a beautiful, lovely, sunny day on the east coast with a top of 20 degrees on the east coast there. In Hobart, as we moved down the east coast of Tasmania more, it was sunny to start with, windy next and raining, and it got to a top of 17 degrees. Over on the west coast, it was raining as usual with a top of 12 degrees. In Seston, we could not get a uh, forecast or temperature reading from incest due to all the incestians up there. We come down and have a look at the hole. It was usual weather in the hole. Raining, raining, raining. Windy, windy, windy. Foggy, 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 foggy and snowy. And a top of minus 2 degrees as usual. Now if we have a look at the forecast for the next three days of Tasmania. If we have a look at the forecast for Saturday. In incest and it's going to be foggy and the top of three degrees. On the east coast, a lovely sunny day there for you. Top of 25 degrees and sunny day there for you. In Hobart, it's going to be overcast with a top of 19 degrees. Average day in Hobart for you. Usually in the hole, it's going to be raining, 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 raining and only minus two degrees as usual. 
If you move over to the west coast, it's going to be snowing and minus five degrees. Now, if we have a look at the weather for Sunday. Okay. So, in Inceston on Sunday, it's going to be raining at a top of five degrees for you. Up in Inceston on the east coast, it's going to be a lovely sunny day once again there on uh, Sunday. The top of 25 degrees and a lovely sunny day. If we move down to the hole, it's going to be raining, 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 be raining, 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 be raining, 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 and a top of two degrees, nothing new there. Hobart is going to be raining, 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 and a top of 15 degrees there. If we move along to the west coast, it's going to be hailing and a top of minus five degrees. And Go News has been advised to warn viewers that hail on the west coast may impact or damage your cars and uh, houses. So extreme caution must be taken there. Now for the weather on Monday. A, a trough is going to be moving across the state from the east, covering the whole state on uh, early Monday morning at approximately 9 o'clock. On the west coast, it'll be hailing at a minus 5. The hole is going to be raining minus 5. Hobart will be raining at also 5 degrees. The east coast is going to be also raining at 5 degrees. Incessant is also going to be raining at 5 degrees. Now, this is because of the trough, which is here, it's going to be moving across the state, covering the whole state, which will result in very bad weather. And now we will, now we will have a look at the warnings to come. And Go News has been advised by the Bureau of Meteorology to pass on the following warnings. There is a severe weather warning from 9am on Monday due to the trough that will be crossing the state. There is also a troll grazier's alert and extreme caution must be taken if you are a troll grazier. And Go News has been advised to recommend to troll graziers that you do have a shed available for your trolls to live in over this small period. There is also a sea fishers warning around the uh, Signet and Launceston areas. In other news that we just have in... Security. Yes, security, it's Wayne Trude. Uh, what's with the alarm? Okay. But you're supposed to stop the attackers before they come through. Where are they? Right there in the office. Okay, I think we better go into lockdown. Yep, we're in lockdown. Okay. We gotta get out. Welcome to Ango News Channel on Channel 5.